hello viewers and subscribers uh, welcome once again my uh, new screencast it was the older screencast uh, screencast number 16 about how can you implement the the rest api or restful apis based on the one of the non sql database like cassandra and the the i have many videos in my channels uh, with, uh, with the different non-sql database like cassandra elastic Search, redis and game fires and so on so forth so today i try to continue uh, with you uh, how can you develop really systematic and proper app or proper way to implement the rest services and then how can you test those REST services with different um, REST client testing tools like Postman or REST, REST client in the REST client uh, we, uh, REST clients tools from the browser browser level and basically what I did like uh, testing with the with the Postman test with the really professional settings how can you do the testing with the Postman and then and then how can you really yeah, really deploy the application with the with the spring boot profile concept and i will show you every step when uh, when they start the uh, development of uh, from from development from structure requirement to development and then development to the testing and then after the testing you can deploy the application into the different environments i mean you can deploy the application production or release the uh, environment or testing environment and and so on and so forth this is the possibility how can you do this installation this is one of the really big questions from the very beginners even though the professionals peoples and uh, they and they i learned it like they they didn't properly understand how the application can be deployed uh, any any machine in in, in the, any part of the world so you just packed it the, our application will be packed as a jar files and then you can deploy this uh, and then you have a external configuration file a spring boot profile file or application.profile files and you just change the your application.profile file in externally and then you install the application thousands of machines and it works automatically that's a, that's i try to do today with you how can you how can you build the projects and then how can you uh, how to start the developments and then i will show you this step uh, the very very abstract level that the development steps and how can you uh, start your service in the locally and then test the services in the postman and then after the postman services you satisfied then you deploy the uh, deploy the application into the client machine that's the idea today we i try to cover it so let's Let's have a start uh, the the applications that we are talking about. So uh, we are talking about how can you start uh, the applications uh, uh, with the with the Cassandra database and the non SQL database, and then with the Spring Boot application. If you saw the pictures like here, the in the in the in the in the URL start dot Spring dot IO, there is a browse there's a web services there you can build from the project from here so let's have a start uh, if you go to this web page and you can just uh, just just select which uh, which generations which type of uh, building tools you try to do as maven and gradle and then the java we are doing java and spring boot version and all necessary dependencies so let's let's do, let's do continue this one so you have to go to the the io and you have a building tools and you have a programming language and then you have a uh, spring boot version this it was the, the the implementation was the last year that's why the older number uh, spring boot number 1.5.13 is selected but uh, you can you can import uh, the source code from the github and then make a new version of the of the spring boot so you group you give provided group id that's you have it here and you have the artifact id and then you have the project name and there's some descriptions and and is this select the the packaging approach so so two approach jar file where files but we are standalone jar file with embedded tomcat and then you put it like your all dependency that you need for your projects like web web spring web dependency cassandra dependency 
and then this is the and then DevOps tools this is the continuously build and you have write down your programs and then uh, it's compiled and run the pro project uh, and then Cassandra is selected you see the lot of possibility and you need some uh, actuator that's that's how I said actuator what is doing actuator basically uh, it has some some default or standard <coughs> standard uh, standard endpoints the matrices then then after when you have the matrices then you can visualize those matrices uh, matrices into the in your any any VA logger logger uh, metric visualization tools like 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 uh, like mm, uh, Prometheus on with the micrometer and also the also the also the Gafana the Gafana tools you can visualize those matrices into the I had already a really big uh, uh, good uh, screencast about that one in Gafana Gafana and then um, Prometheus and the micrometer you can look for this the screencast number I believe it's the screencast number uh, I, I believe let, let's see the screencast number how, how it is look so it is the screencast number uh, if i go to my channels uh, playlist you can go the playlist and it is the screencast number uh, monitoring the spring boot application uh, somewhere i did i am a little bit i need to uh, to take it uh, spring boot application jpa <laughs> playlist uh, this is the application so it's the skipping boot applications with the how can you monitor the spring boot applications uh, with the different microservices and this is the really really professional examples uh, for, for for example for for different microservices one of the microservices what we are trying to do uh, to to cassandra based microservices and we have many microservices and then there are good tools and there's a really important uh, screencast you can if you have like, like thousands of uh, or, or 10 or 15 uh, 10 or 15 microservices when within a single web pages let's say one example ebay or, or, or amazon only single page maybe there is a microservice uh, for uh, 10 or 15 microservice call on the single pages that's the nowadays the modern web application is is running and working and then that's why it is important to monitor those microservices with the really proper uh, micro, micro uh, tools like uh, micrometer spring boot micrometer and prometheus and gafana tools i have really 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 good detail uh, screencast here i am still continuing the further develop you can look for it how can you monitor the microservices if you have a more microservices or even those single microservices how can you monitor it and how can you you do as a professional way that's i mean the the intention for 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 these uh, these screencasts monitoring the spring boot applications or i mean the monitoring the java application with different microservices like if you have a really more microservice you need to monitor how the load testing how it's worked how the your jbm memory works and different request response time even though you can monitor this just follow the those are really interested to monitor your microservices just follow this screencast you get a really clear idea so so we have some we already have so okay we we inject our all dependency we define our uh, artifactory group name and the, all the dependency and we define the debug tools uh, for the dependency and then we define the actuator that's the actuator build the necessary matrices and then visualize the POFA tools for ground prometheus and gafana or and the micrometer with help so so all necessary dependencies we will injected like we injected like web dependency cassandra this is our database driver the dvc driver and the devop tools this like you program it and not automatic call, compile it and then see the information and compile it and then do the testing with that one this is the and the devop tool tools and they have development and to and deploy it that's what i mean so actuator this is that that's how we are totally talk about the actuator who is doing like uh, like 
it's generate the lot of matrices for your JBM matrices, your uh, heap space matrices, and even the you rest service request response matrices, and you expose it my matrices, and after that you can visualize with the with the Spring Boot um, admin server or admin server 